Hey everybody, I'm Beebs Kelly. Welcome back to another fashion edition. Today is a special edition for Trooping the Color, which just happened earlier today. And I am so excited to bring to you some of the best looks that we saw. Honestly, it was some of the only looks that we saw because things were very slimmed down. And we're gonna talk all about that. Events like this are some of the most iconic that we have come to expect from the royal family that we love so much. But these types of ones where some of the time they're in the carriage and then all of a sudden they're up on the balcony and then that's kind of it for the day. We don't get to see as many of the outfits as we do in other days where maybe there's a service or something like that where we get to see them walking and we get to see the full outfit from head to toe. We don't really get that on Trooping of the Color, which is fine because the pageantry of it is so amazing. It's honestly one of the most beautiful events in terms of the parade and the pageantry of it and whatnot. So I really enjoy looking at the pictures and watching clips of it. When it comes to the fashions, it is quite limited because it's literally from the waist up only. But the ladies tend to bring some of the most fabulous hats on these days. We're going to take a look at all of these fashions today. Let's just hop right in. But before we do, this is your friendly reminder to please subscribe. If you enjoy these videos or you enjoy this channel, please do subscribe. It'll make me happy. I believe it'll make you happy but of course you do you let's start off with Camilla she had an amazing look today I thought this was super duper cool the red color was so great on her and then that striking black hat on top of her her silvery white hair was so cool looking I thought it was great I loved the little feather that came up or whatever it was I loved that it was kind of a smaller hat there I think it worked really really great it didn't overwhelm her look at all it was very sleek and it looked edited one of the best parts of Camilla's look today was how fitted it was it was more fitted than what we've seen sometimes I've noticed you guys said in the comments maybe looked a little droopy you know in her fitting or that it wasn't exactly tailored to her figure as well as it could have been and I completely agree. This is what she should have for her silhouette going forward as long as it's comfortable for her. It looked so great. It really did show off her figure. I thought it was a great, a great choice and a great job of getting a good fit for her. I was quite pleased with her outfit and the contrast and whatnot. I thought it was really great. Both Camilla and Kate's outfits were chosen to reflect their new military titles that they have gotten since December of last year. Queen Camilla was appointed Colonel of the Grenadier Guards, so she wore a red dress and black hat that reflects the heritage of the infantry regiment and Kate had this amazing emerald green dress that is a nod to her being the honorary colonel of the Irish Guard which we saw her take over that role from her husband Prince William recently. She had a gold Cartier shamrock brooch which was previously worn during St. Patrick's Day celebrations with Irish Guards earlier this year. Her outfit was just as much of a tribute to that regiment as Queen Camilla's. Also Diana wore green during her first trooping the color as Princess of Wales in 1982. So it was kind of a nod or a throwback to that as well. On to Catherine's outfit. Let's dive into this. It was such a statement. At first, I was a little surprised that she chose this bright green color because with the red uniforms that the men were wearing and that Camilla was wearing, it was a little bit intense, that high contrast. But honestly, put together with everybody else on the balcony and the whole rest of the day, it was just a bright and colorful addition and I think that it worked fine, in part because it was executed so well. This dress was perfect. The fact that it didn't have a high collar but rather a flat lay collar, almost just like embroidered on or sewn on, here was so smart. What a great choice of design because it allowed her neck and everything to remain elegant and seen and it just elongated that part of her body and with that humongous brim of her hat it allowed it to not be overwhelming or feel claustrophobic and closed in because just imagine that huge brim with a tall collar it would just look so closed in. So I'm really really glad that she that the designer chose to have the flat laying designed collar situation. I think that was really wonderful. It wasn't overwhelming in any way and it was integrated really, really well into her look. As well as the hat, it was giant. Like, let's just be honest, that was a ginormous hat. The brim of it was just, went on for miles. 
but it was a style moment and where else would you wear a hat that big and fabulous it was perfect place to wear it and honestly it was a nice style of hat the fact that the rest of it was pretty simple I think really made it just fine and the color of this ensemble was really amazing with her dark hair and her complexion I felt like it just really popped in this beautiful way it was just so natural seeming and these emblems that we saw on the coat dress they went all the way down the front well I assume like around to the hip area probably and then there was two up here like where you may have pockets and then two like a little bit lower where you might place pockets and so these emblems I thought were really cool they were so decorative definitely remind me of being inspired by her military role that she just took on which was the first in her career as a royal and I assume this was a coat dress so I think that that definitely helped make it all fit together really nicely. Sophie had a perfect dress on today. The waist hit her perfectly and showed off her figure. It was a nicely fitted dress and the fluted sleeves were beautiful. I just love the flowiness that it added, a great feminine touch to her silhouette that I thought was just really beautiful. I truly do love fluted sleeves, especially on a dress like that where they're going to hit right where they need to just accentuate her waist. And the color was like an off white, which was a great choice. And I do wish I could see the rest of this one there was I mean I'd love to see the rest of Queen Camilla's and Princess Catherine's as well the whole dress would have been a great visual to see the full look I really hope that they release like a family portrait or something where we can really see these gowns because lately I feel like all the drama that happened thanks to Harry and Meghan which we're gonna get to later you know, I feel like they've just kind of pulled back on a lot of things. They've pulled back on showing us the full glory of their outfits. They've pulled back on the balcony, which we're about to get to. They've pulled back on so much as a consequence of Harry and Meghan's just ridiculous tantrums. So it's really a shame that we couldn't see the full outfit. But honestly, I thought Sophie looked perfect. Okay. Princess Anne was rocking her military uniform. The men had their military uniforms. It just looked excellent, quite sharp, and I do love how embellished and elaborate their, their uniforms are. It's just truly spectacular to see all of these different uniforms and pageantry on display. I thought it was wonderful. The Wales kids, they looked so wonderful. The boys looked just dapper, and I loved the double-breasted navy choice that they made with those gold buttons to match the men's uniforms. It was a lovely touch, and then Charlotte, honestly, this picture of her with, with Prince William just is so cute. Her red matches his uniform perfectly. It's such a sweet picture. The trim on this white dress just looks so classic and fresh and crisp. I also love her braided or plaited bun. It was so sweet. As much as I love fashion for adults and women in particular, there is nothing I adore more than children's clothes. They are so sweet and precious and getting to dress them for special occasions is so much fun. It's literally the best. I am sure Princess Catherine had the most fun choosing these outfits. So I didn't see Beatrice and Eugenie anywhere. I also didn't see the Tyndalls anywhere. So I could have just missed it. Please tell me in the comments if they were there and I missed it or what is going on. But especially with Eugenie having just had a brand new baby at home, I totally understand if she skipped it this time. But I decided to grab a couple of pics from, I think this was 2022, you guys correct me if I'm wrong, Trooping the Color, as it was one of my favorite style pairings that these sisters had. Um, I absolutely love Beatrice's dress. This pastel -y pink color is so pretty and it fits her really, really well. She's got a good eye for getting things that really accentuate her great waistline. And the black detailing down the sleeves I quite like. It's high contrast and it really tied in her hat. And Eugenie's, the pattern is a little odd, to be honest. Um, is it like green and blue? blue. I can't quite tell. It's hard to get good pictures of these things on these days, as I already said, but the fit of it is lovely. Sometimes Eugenie struggles with her fit a little bit. I think she's fairly short, so sometimes the fit on her is a little bit challenging, but honestly, this one is very flattering to her figure and fits her really, really well. And I don't hate the print. With her dark hair, it really works nice. It has like an earthy vibe to it. I just find myself staring into the print trying to figure out exactly what it is more than pulling back and taking a look of the whole outfit as one. But what do you guys think of this one? And what do you guys think of all of them? I saw a headline that said, is this the smallest balcony we've ever seen? Well, yes, it is. And 
I'm just annoyed because unfortunately this is all a consequence of Harry and Meghan. You know, none of this would be happening if it weren't for Harry and Meghan having these big tantrums and being such boogers. Surely the whole working royals only thing wouldn't have had to come to an apparent policy. We could have had the Tyndalls, we could have had the children of the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, we could have had so many more people up there if it weren't for them forcing the palace into this sort of policy vibe. People who are like supportive and kind and have been loyal or just normal members of the family who deserve to share in that joy because Trooping the Color is a celebration of the monarch's birthday. So it's technically King Charles's birthday celebration because his birthday is in November. So forever ago they decided to have the Trooping of the Color in June for any, but any monarch who doesn't have a summer birthday so that they can have the parade and whatnot despite bad weather the rest of the year. Who do you wish we would have seen on the balcony today or do you like it the way it is? You guys tell me in the comments because although I'm, I never would have wanted to see Harry and Meghan on a balcony ever again. Never. I never would have wanted that. But I really honestly wish that the other children and the other family members could have taken part. And I feel like they just spoiled it for everybody because the palace really didn't have a choice. They couldn't have said, well, we're just gonna pick who goes up there. They couldn't have done that. So they really had to take an approach of, well, we're choosing to just do working royals. They really were forced to do that or else they would have left themselves open to criticism. I totally get why they had to switch it up and make it like a policy or whatever. But like, I feel like I hope that in the future going forward that they can now back away from that because like we've gotten through this event where they didn't even invite Harry and Meghan. So perhaps next event, they can not only not invite Harry and Meghan, but they can allow the rest of the family onto the balcony without scrutiny. Hopefully they're just taking step by step moving in that direction is what I hope because I think it would be nice to see just a few more people up there, especially the kiddos. It's so sweet and fun and one of my favorite parts of the royal family is the family aspect. The value of, of togetherness and setting that example of the family just comes together for these special occasions the way that we hope everybody does in our real life when we have a reunion or something of that nature. I've just always liked that part of it, that it was a genuine family and, and, and a big family. And so, I don't know, I'm a fan of big family. I, I just hope it kind of evolves to like kind family members only. What do you guys think? That's it for today's special on True Being the Color. If I get more pictures coming in, then I will add those outfits to future fashion editions. But for now, these were the best pictures I could find. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope that you have a lovely day ahead. And if you are interested in some of the products that I use today to get ready or some of the makeup products I've been using, you can just click the shopping bag to take a look. Thank you so much again. I hope you have a very happy day and I will see you next time. Bye!